Beer keggers are 12 and 0, as you know. And the uh, today we're playing a 3 and 9 blowfish, which, you know, just because they're 3 and 9 doesn't mean that they won't smoke us. Uh, we'll take a look at the lineup here. And uh, let's take a look at everybody. So Kapowie's strained. I'm not sure why. Probably everybody hanging off her shoulders, the fan club that she's growing. She's not used to the weight of the pressure of having to deliver more than half the time. So Kapowie's currently strained. We're going to leave her in there today. Uh, we got Darren Big Sauce. I talked to him a couple hours on the phone yesterday. I told him he was doing pretty well, so we'll leave him in there. Of course, my brother is jacked. Uh, he's out in the outfield. We have uh, somebody just did a PayPal thing. What the hell? Sea Moose, welcome back, my friend. Uh, I'm jacked as well. Look at that. I'm totally jacked uh, and fit. Not really, but uh, well, I mean, I'm fit, but a little tired right now after today. But we got Modern Hickey up there. He's jacked. Uh, Anzac just doesn't give a shit as usual, so he's in there. We have a uh, deputy dog who's on fire. I think uh, we'll substitute how we'll put Nell Clipper Flipper back in. Give him a chance to play again. Remember, I don't. I only have so many players that can play certain positions. So for third base, I only have Flipper or uh, deputy dog. And as a matter of fact, I think deputy dog can only play third. And then, of course, myself, my wife, uh, and Big Sauce can play anywhere in the infield. Um, well, at least that's... Uh, somebody, uh, somebody did a PayPal thing, meaning somebody donated to me via PayPal. Uh, yesterday I had the same thing happen. You guys are amazing. I don't, that, that money is going to, uh, go into upgrading the internet now. I, I still gotta, I have to wait till I go out there next week, but, uh, I gotta go out. I gotta get that internet. I gotta do whatever it takes, get that internet updated out there. So when I do go back to work, I can stream while I'm out there and, and keep this thing going. Because uh, you guys are showing all kinds of support. So I'm trying to get my head out of my ass and uh, make people, you know, I'm going to kneecap them. I'm going to smash them in their kneecaps until they get me what I need so that uh, we can go live from out there. All right, so we got uh, Jeanette Dreyer. She hasn't played in a while. I'm just looking around at my pitchers here. I don't know why everybody's tense and rattled, but uh, Joe, Jose Stu is uh, locked in as, as is Mayhem. But it uh, looks like our pitcher for today is going to be Dreyer. So uh, uh, let's move Dreyer up in the order here a little bit, just so we don't always have the pitcher in the bottom. So if that looks good to you guys, we're going to get going here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are the beer keggers, and we are appearing at the Blowfish today. How, uh, yeah, so I, okay. I turn up the microphone a monitor I have just a little bit so I can hear myself just a little bit because I don't hear myself enough. So Sidewinder Kapowie is going to be up bat first for the beer keggers against the Blowfish. And I don't know who the pitcher is yet. It's not telling me. But uh, as you see, no homers, but 24 RBIs for Kapowie. He's the first pitch of the game. Comes to Kapowie. And that goes foul. I didn't reboot before this. I hope that doesn't uh, affect this. But it does affect Kapowie's first hit as it gets caught out in left field. So here's Big Sauce, second baseman. Following Kapowie's one away. Second batter of the game. It's that first one foul out into the stands. Let's that one go ball. He does get a hold of that one, goes foul just outside the line down first base. Two strikes, one ball, one out. He's going to hit that right out in the hole into center, so he'll be on first base. And that's going to bring up me. No, not me, me brother. But we got big slick. Brad and Balls is now up to bat. Ah, he shouldn't have got that one. He got a piece of it. Let's send Big Sauce back to first. Uh, he swung a little bit uh, too rapidly at that. He got a piece of it, sent it out to the right fielder. That's out number two. And now I'm up. Minus the sunburn that I currently have with two away. 
Big Sauce is on first. The first one comes over the plate for a strike. He does hit that second base, sends it off the first. That's out number three. And now I can get a drink as the beer keggers put nothing on the board at the top of the first. And Nurab Uwanga will be up first. I've said that uh, name plenty of times last season. Marvin Steed will be on deck. Now batting number 31. All right, with one field. gallon down and the, the uh, damn uh, water splashing up on my glasses. Uh, we're looking for Dreyer on the mound here to do something incredible right here against Uwanga, the right fielder. And that one goes to Sidewinder, who picks that up at first, comes over and taps the bag. Out number one. Marvin Steed is next up. One homer, four RBIs with 304 average on the season. Facing Dreyer, the first time this game. Uh, he sends everything he has into that one and comes up empty. Strike number one. Dreyer's going to send that one on the inside for ball number one. And he goes all bat into that. No ball. Strike number two. One and two. Give me a little bit of high as uh, Dreyer doesn't want to send him a fastball as he's expecting that. That goes right to Big Sauce. Goes over Big Sauce's head. Heads out into the corner. Looks like Reliable is going to pick it up, send it to second. The runner's headed off to third and makes it safe for a triple. Now, back. now, now Jose Carlico. Carlico. That's a neat, that's a neat name. Carlico's up. A runner on third. Scoring position with one away. That gets popped straight up in the air. And uh, Anzac's calling that. The runner's probably going to head home. Uh, they are, but because we can't get it there in time. But that's a one run for the Blowfish. The three and nine Blowfish already have a run up against the Beer Keggers. But as we know, that may not, that could change at any time either way for any team. The two away, Dreyer is facing the shortstop. And that goes right to Dreyer on the mound. She fires the first. Howie taps the bag, out number three. And one run added for the Blowfish as Mr. Reliable comes up for the beer keggers. How are you guys doing today? How was your, what was your day like? We all know that uh, Gregler is gonna be pitching here for three homers, 440, or 49 RBIs, the league leader, Modern Hinky. He lets the first one come inside ball. I was gonna say, we all know that Bogan is gonna be on tonight as Modern swings and misses for strike. That comes over the plate, strike two. One and two is the count. He does get a hold of that right down the line. That's gonna be a base hit, possibly two, as Reliable turns, heads towards second, comes in, spikes up, safe on second. So, uh, Barry will be on tonight, by the way, right after this stream, unless something happens where I can't continue. No outs, Reliable's on second. The first one comes in for Dreyer as a strike. That one lobs over, so uh, Reliable heads home. Dreyer gets back to first, so that's an RBI for Dreyer. And Anzac Vulture, the uh, score is now tied with the, the Beer Keggers and the Blowfish as uh, Vulture comes to the plate. First one's a little high ball one. Jeanette's on first base, no outs. That pushes Anzac off the uh, plate there. Gets a hold of that one, goes a shortstop, fires off. This is gonna be a double play. That could never even happen there. With two away now. Now Clipper Flipper, uh, who's had a couple games off. He's locked in, he's fit, and uh, he's ready to do something with two away. That's bullshit as that one curves over the plate, strike one. So he'll hook that one, but uh, left field's gonna catch that one. Out number three, the score is tied at the top of the second. And the Blowfish are sending Sting McGee up first. As I get a bite of the bread before I got to start talking again. Now batting. Number so two homers and two RBIs, 152 average. Sting McGee. What's up, Jai? Do a little baseball here. Dreyer is uh, pitching that. That gets tipped foul. Uh, kind of behind the plate into the stands. Lucky fan will pick that one up. That one also goes foul. That stays in the field of play. Howard's foul. 
That goes to Beer, who picks it up. He's gonna throw it off the first. Probably dislocating his shoulder in the process. He does not so far. And that's out number one as uh, Frogman Barbarian on the plate is sending the signal to Dreyer. That golf swing up and out. That's gonna hit the bounce off the wall. Reliable picks it up, sends it to second for a double. That brings up Cheyenne uh, Hill. The second baseman. Five RBIs, one out, runner on second. Dreyer looks back at the second base runner. Curve ball there, strike one, one away. A swing and a miss for strike number two. That one she gets a piece of. Thoughts uh, picks it up, fires it off to Mater, uh, I mean, uh, off to, um, that would be Sidewinder on first. Oh my God, this looks like my dad batting right now. That's what he looks like. Well, here's dad at the plate, two outs. That one's going out of here. So that's a home run for my dad. Exactly what it looks like. A little bit young, or a little bit older than that now, but. And number 17, who I say it looks like my dad hit a home run. That's so okay. Three runs. Three runs for the Blowfish. The beer keggers now trail by two. As uh, Dragler swings and doesn't even come close to that one. That one goes foul, so that's two strikes now. Dyer winds up. Sends that one right over the plate. Strike out. Strike number three. Uh, and... The top of the third, the beer keggers are now going to send their catcher, Frogman Barbarian, up to the plate. What's up, James Cotto? Now batting, number 27, the catcher. The red-headed, red-headed Irishman has a 4-4-4 average, and I didn't see the rest of his stats, but here's the first pitch for him. He uh, throws his bat out there and wiggles it, trying to find the ball, but he doesn't get any of it, so now it's one and one. Goes to Short, who picks it up, throws it to first. Out, number one. Now back, number 13, the first base. Now we got Kapowi. Where's the fan club? Fan club, speak up. Kapowi got out in her last up. Last at bat. That one, she's going to get on base. So there's one away. Kapowi's on, now on first as uh, Big Sauce is, is back. Number 15. The second base. Listen, uh, James Cotto, just don't worry about it, man. Uh, life happens. I appreciate you being here now. And anytime you can make it, uh, it's wonderful. Ah, oh, shit. This is going to be a double play. That had nothing to do with the power. That was all Big Sauce. So at the top of the third, Big Sauce causes a double play. Thus, no score for the beer keggers. So now Uwanga is going to be up first. He did not make it on base his last at bat. Number 31. He has right four RBIs, field. no homers, 205 average. Uwanga isn't that great of a player, but uh, Dreyer still has to be careful. He does swing for the fences on that one and gets nothing. We'll be doing uh, OCRP tonight. Uh, that one hits a corner plate strike two. So, uh, yeah, Barry will be on here in about an, uh, two hours. And then, oh, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. We dived for it, dove for it. And uh, now Clipper Flipper threw all his weight into it. He didn't get up in time. <coughs> Excuse me, but it's still a hell of an effort. As uh, Steed is now up. No outs, runner on first. That gets popped out foul over to the, well, I guess that would, depending on which way you're looking at it, over his shoulder, the batter's shoulder. Uh, Sidewinder is calling for this one on first. The infield fly. And I don't know why she's throwing it home. Now batting number and there's one away. The uh, Carlo go. Carloco. One away. Carloco. One away. Carloco. Yep. I just got to make sure I can say it. He is now up to the plate. Uh, well, he's going to smash that one straight up in the air. Looks like Reliable is calling this one. 
Uh, he won't make it back to first though, or he won't get it over to first. Okay, so the MC has been put on hold. Now batting. Uh, the MC, we were directed by the management of the leaders of OCRP. Uh, they were getting too many complaints. So currently the MC is in a holding pattern. So we are not allowed to play as the MC. However, we still are allowed to play as the characters in the MC. We just can't wear vests and ride. Well, we just can't wear vests, apparently. That's the rules. We don't run it. Uh, we just follow the rules there. So it is what it is. We're uh, finding other things to do. And uh, we're keeping everybody, hopefully, entertained. All right. Sidewinder's trying to get the first and does. Taps out three. And uh, that's it for the uh, Blowfish. The bottom and third, no run score. The beer kegger is sending big slick. Brandon Ball's up first. I mean, it's only been a few days. Uh, we're just moving on. I mean, if, if you can't, like if RP was really dependent on what you wear, then you already have a serious problem. So. Oh, big slick uh, swung a little too early and smashed that one the wrong way. So that, uh, oh, and he swings too late on that one. Smashes it foul. He has to hit that one. Otherwise, well, he's out anyways. Uh, out by center. Pops out as Kung Fu Bears up next, who did not get on uh, base his last at bat either. I think he also popped out. Well, that one, that time he will. He's going to send that out in the pocket. So he's rounding first, headed to second. He should make it. Spikes up. Uh, standing, actually. He was there a little faster than I thought he would. Now batting number 73 <laughs> the center field. So here's uh, Reliable with Beer on second. Reliable sends that out in the pocket. That's a good spot for him. Beer's going to hit past third, headed home. Reliable heads the second. So that's a double RBI for Reliable as he slides just to make sure he's safe at second. So here's our pitcher, Dreyer. As she got on base, her last at bat, one out. Reliable's leading off on second. Dreyer sends that out. We got to send Reliable back because uh, that's going to get tapped out there. Popped out, pulled out. Now However you want to say it, Anzac four, Vulture right is uh, now up with two away. Down the line, foul. Oh, and that goes right to shortstop, so that's three away. One run scored for the beer keggers, minimizing the damage that the Blowfish put on them with that homer. So two to three now. The bottom of the fourth, Steen McGee, 0 for 1 today, comes back up. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I, th there's, there's nothing we can do about it. So, I mean, there's no reason crying over spilled milk. It's spilled. It's spoiled. They didn't say we can never do it again. They just said, for now, let's just put a squash. Let's just put a little hold on it. So, you know, it kind of sucks. But at the same time, it gives us an opportunity to try to discover some more characters. There's a positive in it as well. Like, wonderful. Sidewinder dives for it. Probably, I don't know, I'm surprised she didn't come up with a spring wrist on that one. I've done that before and really got hurt. It was hilarious. All right, so Dreyer's throwing uh, balls here, or, you know, throwing them, and everything's been getting hit foul, which is good, instead of a home run. So she's just trying to get one there to cause him to miss. That's good. What? Wow, Okay. This one's going to be a homer. Ah, eh, close enough. So Big Slick can't get to it. Just out of reach. He throws it to second. The runner's on second. Well, that's a double. Now batting number 13, the center fielder. All right. She uh, shakes her head and then signals that she does like that call. So that one's going out to Frogman. She throws it a ball on the inside. That's coming way inside. We got two balls, no strikes. Be too high. Well, let's do this. All right, so he does swing on that one. That goes foul. It's right down the line for strike number two. Three and two, the full count. Oh, and it just misses the plate. Sends the batter to first base as a walk. And now we got Cheyenne Hill 
a 0 for 1, 5 RBIs. Up, oh, who's picking it up? Fired off the first. Okay, so we'll just take her out at first. Can't get it to second, pull a double play. So now my dad's back up, who uh, got a home run his last at bat. Brought somebody in with him, giving the lead to the Blowfish. So Dreyer's aware of his power, so she wants to uh, keep him contained. He sends a slider in there, he hits it. Uh, foul, one and one. He's swinging for the fences there. That's a one and two. Okay, so now we're gonna have a full count here. This is dangerous. He's gonna swing at it. Oh, and he did swing at it and miss. So it's out number two with the strikeout again. So now two away, two runners on. But Wander's up here who's not uh, hit at all yet this season, it looks like, with a 0-0 average. First one's coming in strike. Uh, two and two, two away. That one goes foul right behind her. He's reached his down for that one. It's also a foul. That one's foul. So that one's foul. And that one's foul. And that one goes right to Dreyer on the mound. Sends it off to Kapawi for out number three. No run scored for the Blowfish. It's a low scoring game, two to three. Beer Kager's down by one at the top of the fifth. Now Clipper Flipper is up first. What's up, Ghost? All right, so 0 for 1. We got uh, Nell Clipper Flipper here who's getting ready to smash this thing, but yet the ball hadn't been pitched. But he'll go to first. Actually, he'll go to second if he ever makes it there. There's a faster runner. He probably would have made it to third. Uh, but he'll hold up on second now base there as Frogman Barberryman. Now up. Let's that first one garbage go low. Deviant's calling for Kapowi, even though uh, Barbarian's up. He just can't wait for Kapowi to show up. All right, so that's going. Ah, we're going to get in a pickle here. All right. Well, I got him back to, to third. Now Kapowi's up. Hey, try to see if there's a Kapowi emote yet. That's a beautiful, oh, yep, beautiful shot by Kapawi. That goes, she goes to second. Uh, she's actually going to try to go to third. Let's see if she comes in. She's there. That's a double RBI with a triple. Now batting, number 15. There is Kapawi. We got the Kapawi emote. Got approved by Twitch. No, 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 no. Some kind of uh, garbage uh, knee slide there. But that's okay, because Big Slick's up now. Kapowie's on third. Kapowie needs a head start to get there. Big Slick punches that foul by swinging just a little bit too soon. That comes over the inside of the plate. Strike two, two, zero, oh, and two. He has to hit this. That's over, that's off the wall. So Big Slick goes to first. Kapowie comes in, taps the plate. Beer Keggers now have a lead of five to three. Batting, number 71, the and here's Sunbert. Mr. Dehydration himself with one away. Oh, he, whoa, this is gonna suck for him. That's a double play. Oh, he makes it. His brother doesn't, but he does. Somehow he uh, peeled the sunburn off and got there just in time as uh, Mike. MN Mike. Oh, I don't know. I was looking at the, the chat and I swung at that. That worked out though. MN Mike 507 uh, came in with some now Sidewinder Kapawi uh, emotes. The fan club is roaring in the background as Dryer comes up. And she doesn't hear anything right now but Kapawi Kapawi. So she'll swing at that foul as uh, Kung Fu leads on second. Okay, that goes, okay, so that dryer hits a good one there. She's going to second. Oh, get, everybody get in, what the? F I was trying to send one runner in because beer was like a centimeter from touching plate and he decided not to. 
and the second baseman just tapped. So at the end of that fucking mistake, that garbage that happened there, uh, we had potential of adding two more runs, but Jeanette gets tagged out. And uh, so we only got a lead of two, so we're gonna have to make it up somewhere. So here's the pitch. That one comes in strike one as she's now upset that uh, Beer didn't go home and at least score before she got tapped. Oh, no, 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 F fired off. Yeah, well, here come the errors. The errors are gonna start piling up as everybody's getting upset. Again, in the background, all they're hearing is, is Kapowie, Kapowie, Kapowie. And uh, now Clipper had dropped that trying to pick it up. So everybody just needs to settle down here. Stop listening to the Kapowie, Kapowie, Kapowie fan club and uh, get their shit together. Otherwise, this game's gonna go bad in a heartbeat. All right, that one gets smoked straight up in the air. But as you can see, Anzac Vultures all over that. So uh, I don't know why he threw it home, makes no sense. But Kapowie came in to save it so that the runner didn't make it the second. Carloco uh, is 0 for 1 today with an RBI. I think his first at bat, not the last one. One of them was. Anyways. So Sauce is gonna fire to second. They're just tempted to do double play and they nail it. So just in the nick of time, uh, they got their shit together. No run scored for the Blowfish, maintaining their two point lead as Anzac Vulture uh, will be up first. Now 4X back. combo, yep. Number four. The right field. So as uh, Vulture comes up, he just uh, glazed his telescopes there that he's wearing on his eyeball. And he sees that one coming. Look at that. And so you had uh, right fielder trying to uh, do some sort of Superman thing as Vulture's headed to third. And uh, he probably could have made it home in time. But uh, we did not risk that one as Nell Clipper Flippers back up to the plate. One for two today. No homers yet. That goes just out of first base's uh, reach, so he'll go to first, sending Vulture in for a run scored. Now back, number 27. So here's the Irish bomber, Frogman Barberryman. Ashes that right out the center, so he'll go to first. And uh, for whatever reason, Flipper wouldn't head to third. Ah, he turned, decided to turn around and go back. As Kapowie hears the audience start to roar her name, and hopefully that doesn't distract her as she punches that one out foul pretty high. That's a good shot. I think Wright might pick it up. Nope, Wright's going to take it. So Kapowie goes to second. And uh, we've got runners coming in home, sliding in. Kapowie goes to third, so that's another... Back-to-back, -back, triple, double RBI for Sidewinder Kapowie. It must have something to do with either Super Alma coming in or the emotes. That one gets pulled out of the air. Out number one as Big Slick Brandon Balls comes up next. What's up, Malibu? He can't get to the, uh, the shortstop can't get to that one being so short. So Balls makes it the first RBI for him, nine to three. As thanks to the Kapawi fan club and Kapawi herself have turned the course of this game and uh, have additional added runs to the score. Beer swings a little too slow at that one. Here's that one foul, one and one. That's down the line. That's gonna be foul as well. So one and two now. He had to hit that one. Oh, and a shortstop reaches for it, doesn't quite get to it. Beer's on first. Uh, his brother is on second with one away. And now here's Reliable. Number 73, the center field. He's gonna let that first one come in just off his elbow. Ball one, a little high. He does like that one, so that, ah, that's going out right to uh, the left fielder, so everybody heads back to their bases. The Reliable uh, puts the second out on the board, and here's the pitcher, Jeanette Dreyer, who's locked in. 630, uh, 636 average, no homers. She had four RBIs. 
The first one goes ball with two away, two runners on. He does swing at that one right to third, out number three. So uh, Dreyer is not pulling her weight so far this game. But that's okay. Everybody gets a chance to have bad days. Ask Sidewinder about that. So the top of the fourth, the beer keggers did add four runs to their lead. And now the Blowfish have a turn sending Gutterson up first. Now batting, number 24. What's going on, Happy Ghost? Welcome back, man. Do a little baseball here. That one's gonna be a little high there. So we're gonna call that one ball, or at least the umpire is. He takes a swing in, running swing at that one. And he comes up like a track star. So now we got one and two for Gutterson. Dreyer's gonna chance it and throw a fastball in there. Nobody can get to it. Goes out to reliable at center. He'll fire it off to second and hold the runner on first for a single. Now back, number 10, the catcher. All right, the catcher, McGee, uh, has one homer himself. He's got some sort of weird mustache going on. Uh, he can't see a strike there past that weird looking mustache. So he let that one go. However, that one didn't confuse him. Uh, that's strike number one. That one goes down the line foul as Kapowie looks for it. Uh, decides not to dive for it for once. All right, that's going out to Reliable at center. So he'll pick that up. He'll fire it second. The runner's safe. Now you got no outs, two runners on. Now as uh, Batch Wilson, uh, who walked his last at bat, is not going to hit for some reason. Uh, so they'll put a pinch hitter in there. It's Harry Backman. A lot of power there, so Dreyer is going to take it easy here. Okay, so that's going to Big Sauce. He's going to attempt the double play. It gets the beer, gets the... Okay, so that's a double play. So from no outs to two outs, runner made it to third. Cheyenne Hill is uh, now up to bat facing Dreyer with the runner in scoring position on third. He sends that first one in quite low inside for ball number one. That goes out to Reliable. So all he can do is pick it up, send it to second. So the runner scores and uh, the batter makes it to first safe. Here's my dad, who uh, Alfonso De Delgado. That's not really my dad, he just looks like my dad. He got a fastball his first at bat and knocked the shit out of it. I think he knocked the skin off of it. It was just a core that went outside. Dreyer's gonna send him some sliders trying to confuse them. Both of them do. They both go foul for strikes. Okay, now we got uh, Frogman can't get it there in time. There's a steal. So that is a one and two now with two away. The runner stole second. And that's also a foul. What's up, Gordy Howe? Welcome back, man. Dreyer is uh, trying to keep this ball in the park. Okay, well, that'll go to Kapowie. He's going to just fire it off first, where Dreyer ran and taps the bag in time for out number three. So the Blowfish did add one to their score, still trailing by five. At the top of the seventh, Anzac Vulture, uh, Vulture will be up first. He's one for three today uh, with a triple on the time that he did to get on. Number four, the right fielder. All right. So. Somebody's out of position. I don't understand that. What does that have to do with batting? So Anzac bounces that one a second. He's out at first. That's the first out. But now that brings up Nell Clipper Flipper. He has 19 RBIs, by the way. He's two for three today so far. He's going to let that one come in off his thighs inside. Ball number one. He does like that one. Punches that out. That will go past the center fielder. So oh, he's rounding first, headed to second. He doesn't have the wheels to go any further. So he'll hold up on second. Well, his tires get changed uh, over at the, uh, the auto mechanic. Seems like that's how long it took him. Oh, Barry Berryman slams that one out of here, bringing himself. Look at that. He's just trotting along. So, he, uh, I think that's his second homer, or it's his third homer of the season, his eighth RBI, as he brings Nell Clipper Flipper with him, and of course, Sidewinder Kapowie runs up now there batting, to uh, fist bump him, or chest bump him, on the plate. 
Powers having a hell of a game herself with one away. Let's that first one come in ball on the inside. That one's going in the outside now, ball number two. That's gonna come over the plate for a strike, kind of a crappy drop. Powery likes that one, hits it. Uh, that's, oops, keep going straight as it goes in between the center and the left fielder. So Kapowie goes to second, slides safe with one away. Now Here's Big Sauce. Uh, he's a little in the dumps today, one for four. Powery's on second, one away with a lead, lead off of second. The first one comes in ball number one. Big Sauce does like that, hits it over the third baseman's head. It goes fair, so he's running to second. Kapowie's headed home. Big Sauce will hold up on second, standing up as Kapowie taps the plate for another score. 12 to four, now as Big Balls, Big Slick, Brandon uh, with one away comes up. That one comes in on the inside, but over the plate for strike number one. I almost swung at that one, but I didn't. It was too high. That one I will. All right, so that's gonna drop in uh, right before the left fielder. So that puts balls on first. That advances Big Sauce to second. And the silver the silver bomber himself, who's dropping in the home runs, by the way, this season. Well, he's up now. Gonna let that first one come over the plate strike. That was a perfect shot to take. He does like that one a little better. That goes to right, so everybody's going back. And then uh, we'll send uh, Big Sauce in to score. Take advantage of that. As Reliable comes out with two away. Balls is on first. The only other runner on. 13 to four is the score. That one comes in kind of weird over the plate, but ball number one. That's gonna come in a little bit more to the right. Therefore, that's a strike. Reliable does take a swing at that one. Hits that one foul. Two away, two strikes. Oh, he bunted! What the hell? I didn't mean to bunt. The reliable <laughs> throws his bat out there and bunts it uh, right to the pitcher who picks it up, throws it off the first. So, Beer Keggers put four on the board, the top of the seventh, and now it's a seventh inning stretch. Okay, stretch over. Let's get back to this now game. Mindy Marshwater, 21, the pitcher. who has not batted at all, still a little tense, and she's not going to bat again. Facing Dreyer, who needs to be substituted now as it is the bottom of the seventh. So let's go ahead and find a pitcher, uh, relief pitcher. So we got baseman, SP is starting pitchers. Uh, we played Dirt yesterday. We got Cybex, we played the day before. Let's do the Poulan baseman. All right. I was reading the chat there for a second, seeing about a car. All right, so base bands up with his three massive uh, selections of pitches there. And the first one, he can't even get in the strike zone, so that's ball number one. That goes out to Reliable at center. He'll pick it up, send it to second. That's a base hit. All right, Happy Ghost. Uh, thanks so much for stopping in. We'll see you back uh, at the Inberry stream a little bit later. NM2588, welcome back. I don't know if that's what I should be calling. Oh, let's get a second. Okay, that's out one. Doesn't make it in time for a double, but that's fine. We got the leading runner out. So NM, is that, uh, that's what you want to be called? Is that correct? Or do you have something else you want to be called? Numbers or no numbers, basically what I was asking. All right, so uh, one away. There's a runner on first. They're stealing now. Baseband makes it. We get it in a second. Doesn't make it in time, and neither does that. So both runners are safe. Now batting number 27. As an attempt for the at least the lead runner didn't make it. An underhand throw is a little too slow. So baseband is now contending with two runners on, one out. That one was a little high for ball number one. That's in the zone. That's strike two. Strike one, strike one. That was, I see, I messed that up, so now I got two balls, one strike. Uh, he's gonna reach down, he's gonna pop that one in the air. Beer is running for it, but then so is everybody else. Hopefully they don't run at each other. All right, so Beer picks it up, fires it to second. And now it's two away. Now batting. Gutterson's back up again, one for three today. 
a triple three average. So one third of his hits put him on base. Well, he steps and swings and a miss. Doing some sort of dance. Well, that one he gets uh, over to Beer, picks it up. He's just gonna fire it off to, to Powie. That's out number three. Uh, we got people leaving and coming and going. So now we're at the top of the eighth. Now here's uh, baseband's first at bat. He ha also has a 3-3-3 three, three, three average. Oh, that was a sidearm. I wasn't expecting that, so I hit that one foul. That one's gonna swing out a little bit to the right. Ah, why'd you hit that base man? So he hits that straight in the air. And that's uh, out number one. Now back. Well, here's Vulture. Number four, the right field. One for four today. Usually a sidewinder average, but sidewinder's not doing that today. It goes, that looked like that was gonna be in the dirt, but that's strike number one. Oh, that's another one. So this, uh, this person's making me hit straight up in the air. So that's two away. As Nell Clipper Flipper had a pretty good average today. He's up. And he'll lob that one out to the, whoa, whoa. That's off the wall. So Flipper, who didn't run to second for some reason, struggles to get their end time and makes it. So that's a double for him. Number 27, the catcher. And uh, here's Frogman Barbarian with two away. That one's gonna come in ball as it comes in on the inside, kind of a curvy ball. Okay, that's a good one. I don't know if we can get Flipper in. We sent Flipper in. Oh, and it's close, but he makes it. So he's safe on the plate for a score for Barbarian. That's another RBI is Kapawi with two away and a lot of pressure on her. Kapawi fan club is starting to spark up as she swings just a hair too early, sends it foul, two away. And that one fouls well, so now two strikes, two outs. Okay, that one was way low. I almost thought it might be a strike. That's low as well, so that's ball two. So two and two with two outs. Now he sent, oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. So uh, good dig there by the first baseman, pulls it up. And Kapawi can't get there in time. So one run added for the beer keggers. 14 to four, it's a 10 point lead. Quick math, as Sting McGee comes up, who's two for three today. Bottom of the eighth. Now batting number 10, the catcher. Mr. Mustache, you're weird looking like red mustache kind of thing, it's kind of weird. Well, that one gets popped out the center, so reliable, hauls that in, out number one. Very ha Barrett, Harry Backman. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. 250 average. Probably gonna swing and a miss right there. Baseman. He does swing and he hits that one straight in the air. Big Slick's running for it, but it's out of the stands unless he picks it up at the wall, which he does. Well, it's out number two as uh, Cheyenne Hill's in. He's not face base man yet. He winds up, sends it in on the inside. She swings and hits it foul. Two outs. That goes right to Beer, who can hopefully, nope, he can't, but he's gonna try. He get, doesn't get there in time. So he uh, fumble fingered as my dad back up. Uh, Delgado here is one for three today, but that one was a two run homer off Dreyer. Uh, nobody can get a hold of that one. Looked like uh, Modder wasn't really in a big, Reliable wasn't a big hurry to get there. So now you got split runners, one on first, one on third. As a pinch hitter comes back in, Randy Mann. I'm looking at his stats right there to figure out what baseman should throw him. And his first one is gonna be a ball. So he's gonna throw him. Let's see if we can get it in a little high, make him pop it up. He's gonna get a hold of that, but he'll just fire it off the first. Just in time, out number three. And they gotta move everybody back to where they came from. So it's the number last five. at bat number for the beer keggers. As Darren Big Sauce comes up with a 10 point lead, but he wants to extend it a little bit more. You got Paul Tuttle up there on the uh, mound. For those of you who don't, American Chopper, the father there. That uh, hits Big Sauce. Tips it, heads it to second, and he's out at first. Now that Here's Big Slick wearing his Oakleys right now. For 74, three for five today. 
wants to get on base. He taps it out. Oh, Jesus. Second baseman, Superman's through the air. Lucky number, lucky catch for the second baseman. The big slick's out. The last hope is on uh, Silver Slick, who sends that down the line. That's fair. Amazing shot as he heads the second. And he's going to come in, spikes up, and he's out. What the hell? So the beer keggers, through a bunch of misfortune, put no runs on the board at the top of the ninth. They have a 10-point lead. They're probably going to give it away right here as the Blowfish are sending Uwunga up first. Now batting, number 31. Yeah, Wayne Paul Sr., <laughs> exactly. Paul Tuttle, Paul Sr. Didn't it look like him? All right, that goes to, to uh, Sidewinder. He's going to just fire it at the first. That's out number one. Now batting number Which has been all over the place for like the last week. It uh, comes and goes. So yeah, Twitch is Twitch has been a mess. That goes out to reliable. He'll just pick it up, send it to second. So we got a runner on with one away. Now batting. As Twitch is shit in the bed, Jose Carloco, who's 0 for 3 today. He has a hell of a name. Uh, he's up. Surprised they didn't steal me. Reliable's gonna pick that up. And he'll send that off the first. It's not gonna make it in time, that's okay. And now there's one out remaining of the game. So here's Gutterson. And I don't remember what he did, but. He's going to hit that one straight up in the air. And this could be it, folks. And that is out number three. The beer keggers are going to tear up the blowfish uh, by 10. It didn't look like it was going to end up this way, but it did pretty well so here we go all of our stats we had uh no yeah barbarian had the only home run of the day we had two pitchers in the top three of the day the fan club is going crazy as number 13 sidewinder kapawi slides into the number one spot and we got frogman barbarian at number two and now clipper flipper uh finishes it off at the third place spot well, let's get over to the season hub. Let's uh, figure out where we're at next. All right, so our next game, Beer Keggers, who are now 13-0, and zero, are going to be facing the wide loads. They're going to be at the wide loads. Uh, they're 6-7, and seven, so they're like a 50-50 team. And uh, some cool beards down there, as I'm noticing. Casper, Gasper, and Linear have some wonderful beard. Wonderful beards. So I think uh, I think that's going to be it for the baseball.